What's going on guys? It's Ben with Felt Training. Today we got an awesome intense core workout. This core workout is gonna hit all three parts of the abdominals, meaning the midsection, we got the obliques and the awesome core belt that everyone always forgets about. It's really important to hit all three parts of your abdominal muscles. So without further ado, let's get into the demonstrations. We are gonna be doing two separate sets. One set is gonna be demos. So we're gonna demonstrate the exercise and show you how to do it properly. And then we're gonna execute one round with you and get this workout done. So without further ado, let's get into the demos. Great, so let's get into this demo, guys. First, we're just gonna do a nice, simple inchworm workout. This is pretty simple, but it is very, very effective. This is gonna be working basically your entire core. And um, yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> this is a very simple movement. All you're gonna be doing is squatting down, making sure that your chest is up at the beginning of the movement, and then plant your hands down and slowly crawl out inch by inch. You see what I did there? Okay, and then we're gonna go all the way out and then all the way back in. So then when you're at this position, you come up and we wanna get as much extension as possible in the abdomen region. So make sure you reach up and then back down. So we're gonna be doing this for about 30 seconds. I'm just gonna show you one more time and begin. Get that full extension, squat down, hands planted, and then take it inch by inch. So you get to that full extension and then come back. Sit up. Nice deep breath, get your oxygen flow right. Make sure to breathe. Nice and slow. Okay, and then for five, four, three, two, one. You can always work a little bit extra. Ain't no problem in that. Awesome, so now we're gonna move on to the next exercise. Let's get into it. All right guys, so now we got the first exercise down pat, we go to our second movement. These are the mountain climbers. They're pretty fun, exciting, and a little explosive. So let's get into it. What you're gonna be doing, you wanna be in a kind of a push-up position, like so, and you wanna tuck your hips inward. So a lot of people think having your hips down is where you wanna have the most activation, but that's not true. You wanna pinch your butt together and move your hips in a neutral position. And then all you're gonna do is bring your knee to your chest and then switch, like so. So we're gonna be doing that for about 30 seconds. So without further ado, let's get into it. Sweet, so now we're gonna knock out 30 seconds. So like I said, you're just gonna go into a regular push-up position. You're gonna have your knees together, butt tucked, hip neutral, and then begin. The goal is to really keep your body in the same position that you began with. And really control on your core, tucking that butt in. Okay, and three, two, one. Awesome. Now we go into the third exercise. Now for the third exercise, we're just gonna be doing scissor claps. It's pretty self-explanatory. You've probably done this exercise a few times before yourself. So let's get into it. You're gonna start by sitting and laying down on your mat. Not like me, I know that was a little stupid, but anyways, you wanna have your full body straight and then your arms to your side. And when you kick up, all you wanna do is clap. Now, the important part is to make sure your core is activated. You don't wanna be lifting with your legs, you don't wanna be moving with momentum. So it's really good to lock your abs in place. So for me, I like to tuck my chin just a little bit. So I know when I lift my legs, I can feel that contraction right here and clap in between. And if you wanna make it a little more intense, you can lift the legs the entire time. And that's gonna keep that engagement for the whole 30 seconds. So, demonstrate for 30 seconds for you guys, and let's begin. Okay. 
Now let's do the intense variation. We're gonna keep those legs all the way up the entire time. So you guys can see what that looks like. And five, four, three, two, and done. Next, we just got two exercises left. We got the side planks and our normal planks. So let's go and get into those real quick. When you set up for the plank, make sure that your arm is at a 90 degree angle right here. And all you're gonna be doing, some people like to put their arm on the wrist. For me, I like to just do it over my hand right here. And then you're gonna use the side of your foot to lift your obliques. And this is a full side plank. You can make it a little harder by putting your hand to the side. And we're just gonna hold this for 30 seconds. And begin. Make sure you're keeping that core tight the entire time. You wanna work these obliques and your core belt with these planks. A lot of people wanna dip their hips right here. You don't wanna do that. You wanna always keep those up. You can always make sure you have it right with your hips and your butt being tucked. And three, two, one, and now we're done. Gotta make sure that we're doing both sides. So let's switch, switch on to the right and 30 seconds in three, two, one, and begin. Make sure you're keeping those hips up, not dip down like this or super high right here. Just wanna have it perfectly aligned with each other. Keep that back straight, butt tucked and hold. Make sure you're breathing. Have proper airflow. We should be good in five, four, three, two, one, and done. Awesome, guys. Last but certainly not least, we got one more exercise. This is just the regular plank, so let's get into it. Now for the regular plank, we wanna be on our knees. We're gonna be in a push-up positioning, like so. The thing is that people mess up a lot on are their hips. So a lot of people sink them down, they bring them too far up. The really good trick to use is just clench your butt and then move your hips into a neutral position and that's a proper plank. Also, if you want it to be more balanced in this position with your hands planted, you can spread out your legs and that'll make it a little bit more even for you, a little easier for the exercise. There's also an option to do on your elbows, like so, again, Keep that back straight, butt tucked, hips in, and look up. And that's a proper hold on the elbows. Now our last variation of this exercise is the more simpler version. It's where you're on your knees. It's totally okay, everyone has starting points. So you just wanna go on your knees, cross your feet, and you just keep that positioning with your hands. Make sure that butt is still tucked and your core is tight and you don't wanna have your hands forward or behind you, you wanna have it straight up like pillars, holding up a castle. And there you go. So now you know all the different variations. Let's go and knock out 30 seconds. I'm gonna just gonna do the traditional two, and if you wanna do the simpler version, you can. So let's get into it. And begin. So make sure that butt is tucked core is in and again you can always spread those legs out like so just make sure you're breathing as well keep that head up sometimes I got to correct myself too we're not all perfect and again like I said if you want to make it easier just get on those elbows nice and straight and in three two one and done awesome guys so that was the demonstration. Now we're gonna go into the first round of the exercises together, just 30 seconds each, knock them out one by one and finish it up. So the first one we remember is gonna be inchworms. You're just gonna put your feet behind you like this, chest up, squat down, reach out, reach back in, full extension and begin. Full extension, go down and climb out. Make sure you're really controlling your breath on these movements. So you might not 
hear me talk too much. Because uh, that is where we hold a lot of our oxygen in our lungs, in our stomach. Uh, and back down. And then five, four, three, two, one. Nice guys. All right, now we're going to the second exercise. These are the mountain climbers. It's really, really simple. Just get in that push up form like so. And let's get into it. Remember, butt tucked, core tight, and begin. You're switching off those legs. Burn those 30 seconds. Again, control that breath. Kind of sound like a hypocrite, but it's all good. And then just a couple more. Take it at your own pace. Don't have to follow my speed at all. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. Woo. Next exercise, we got scissor claps. Let's go and lay down and hop right into them. Remember, I like to keep my chin a little tucked. Make sure that core is activated and begin. You can always start with the knees and legs all the way down to the ground. Sometimes it is good to disengage and re-engage the abs instead of holding on to that tension the entire time. And five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Whew. Now we just got two more exercises left. We got the side plank and the regular plank. Remember to do both sides on the side plank exercise. Let's get into it. So now we're gonna go on to the next side for 30 seconds and begin. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Nice and easy, 30 seconds. Almost there. Keep pushing, guys, keep pushing. In five, four, three, two, one, and done. Now, finish it off with a regular plank. Again, back in a normal push-up position like the mountain climbers. Make sure that butt is tucked, core is in, and begin. Make sure your hands aren't back or forward. Like I said, your hands are pillars. Always spread out those legs, make it easier on yourself or even go on your knees. You all start from somewhere. Almost done, keep that head up. Five, four, three, two, one. And we are done. Awesome, thank you guys so much for joining me on this workout. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you guys like content like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you have that bell notification on so you know you're the first person to watch the video when we upload. Thank you, and see you on the next one.